Hi guys, it's me again and today we are going to be talking about the good stuff that came out from coronavirus. So as you guys know, coronavirus is pretty much the worst. I'm sure you guys know how bad it is. So there are some good stuff that came out of coronavirus as well. But before we go into that, in case you guys are wondering how come I look so chill today, it's because I am using Uta Cam to film this. So I have a little filter going on and like I make my like forehead shorter, my face sharper and look my contact lens are not even real okay they are fake because when I had the whole film crew with the professional cameras and the DSLRs and stuff like that I cannot like edit my face with a filter lah huh? but now I can so back to coronavirus and the good stuff that came out of it well I'm not gonna go into all the typical feel good nonsense like oh you learn how to be closer to your family and you know working from home is great and we are getting sleep and stuff like that stuff like that everyone already knows about so we're gonna talk about my personal favorite reasons for coronavirus virus and let's start you know those those yolo people uh -huh, that you always see online that they are like you know living life to the fullest while you're stuck in an office job they are fucking skydiving they are on a yacht somewhere they're exploring some island these people that often make you feel like small i don't necessarily want their life because I do think that staying home with family, spending time in Singapore doing things that I feel comfortable doing like eating a Maggie Mee and watching a Netflix show I actually like it but what I don't like right is that these people often make me feel like I should be out there doing more The world is my oyster, you know I should be exploring places, doing adventurous stuff I should be jumping out of a plane If they ever make you feel like you're envious of their lifestyle, you're jealous, you know what? all of them are stuck at home and the worst thing about it is these people are often extroverts right so they probably hate being stuck at home more than you do maybe their houses are nicer like, because they tend to be rich people i guess but i'm pretty sure they're hating this yeah so that should be a source of comfort to you guys and i know that a lot of this is a little bit relative so maybe to some of you guys out there you may think that i am one of these people that you feel jealous about i know that i'm very lucky that i have a career that is more fun than the usual deskbound career I do get sponsored holidays and I eat like nice free food and I get free makeup I'm not gonna deny that but Ishan Hayo Ishan Kao you know what that means there are always people who are better than me so sometimes other people make me feel that way too because I am not an adventurer at heart even when I go on holidays I don't explore like you know off the beaten path I don't skydive and things like that and I don't want to skydive I just don't want to see other people enjoy skydiving so that when I see a skydive I feel like I should also be skydiving you know so anyway if you feel jealous about my lifestyle be happy that I am also stuck at home the same as you my second favorite thing to come out of coronavirus is those talking points that the western media loves to talk about that are actually worthless and stupid for example gender inequality which toilet trans people should go to like who the fuck cares what toilet they go to they can go to whatever fucking toilet they want now okay and I just feel like I'm hearing way less of this stuff in the face of a pandemic everyone have realized that there are way more important things to be discussing and how we should all work together to you know um come out with a vaccine or you know fight this virus together how to save our economy and things like that so I am hearing a lot less of these complaints from these moronic people and I think that it's because you know for the longest time we have existed in a very comfortable state the economy has been really good people have been just living a very comfortable life so they have nothing better to do than to complain about shit like how you know you shouldn't be calling the virus Wuhan virus like who the fuck cares what you call the fucking virus call it whatever fuck you want lah I mean like as long as you don't go and beat like, Asian people in the streets that's fine who cares what the name of the virus is it's just not something that we should be discussing it's just dumb I'm happy that people are no longer complaining about such things that is great I hope they will shut up forever as a driver I love this one we no longer have to pay ERP it's really nice now to go under the ERP thing and there's no peeping because there's no light coming from it fuck fucking ERP yeah no ERP that's great if you are someone who is holding a job and you probably pay taxes you'll be happy to know that you can now defer paying your taxes I think you can defer filing it also so I hate filing my taxes I do do it but I just cannot be bothered to do it until the very last minute so I'm very happy that it's being deferred now and I still haven't done it I probably should get on it before I get fined I really like this one and it's that people who are cheating can no longer um, easily cheat lah. the cheaters who have mistresses they can't see their mistresses because there's no legitimate reason for them to go out 
for hours on end to meet their mistress and not like my husband is cheating on me or anything okay in fact Mike has just been like at home and seems to be perfectly happy this lockdown period I swear he hasn't even left the house in like freaking 3 weeks it just feels good like it gives me this kind of like savage pleasure to know that all these cheaters right are just stuck at home and the mistresses they are also stuck at home alone thinking about their life choices the guys who are cheating on their girlfriends or their wives by going to prostitution or like you know those dirty massage parlors right they no longer can go because dirty massage parlors are closed and hopefully they will be closed forever if you have a fuckboy boyfriend who is like always swiping tinder and stuff like i guess he can flirt with girls now but how to meet you tell me, you tell me right ah. well, Another good thing that came out of coronavirus is that many people are taking this chance to finally clean up their house, clean up their room, clean up their workspace I do think that psychologically speaking, when you clean up around you, you clear your thoughts, you instantly feel happier You feel a motivation to start fixing a lot of the other things that you probably have been putting off that you wanted to fix but you have not So cleaning your room is a good place to start I, I truly believe that, okay I know it sounds very Marie Kondo-ish but um, I really do think so After I clean up my workspace I feel a lot more inspired to do videos, work um, You know, I don't have to come into the room anymore And feel like, oh my god, so fucking cluttered Another like part of my life that I have no control in You know, I think overall When the people around you feel more uplifted You know, it will actually help you in turn because they will treat you nicer they will have better attitudes if you are owning a company maybe the employees start to be a bit more motivated to work overall this is a good thing for society yes this is a good thing to come out of coronavirus we now see a lot more options on food delivery in the past a lot of restaurants they are thriving by having walk-in customers to dine in their restaurants because of this pandemic they have realized that if they don't do delivery right they are just going to die these two months i'm hopeful that after the pandemic ends this arrangement will continue because they already set up the infrastructure in place and one more thing that I feel is good is that restaurants are getting a lot more resourceful they have decided to have their own in-house delivery system which means that you know they're not going through a third-party app which will actually take a lot of their profit from them so I think that that is great and I think as the month goes along with more and more feedback from people they will learn better how to you know package their food so that it remains fresher when it, it gets delivered to the customer and things like that or you know how to come up with better menu items that actually taste better even after like an hour of delivery so I think that's great for us Speaking of more options for consumers we've come to the next good thing that coronavirus has brought for us which is that a lot of shops now have an online delivery option so In the past we see uh, brands like for example IKEA they never used to do delivery I mean, you have to go to the store lah, okay, to buy whatever Ikea shit that you want And then after that, if it's very bulky, you still have to get them to deliver it to your house So it's that stupid lah, in the first place, why don't you just let me just order it online, right? It's them dumb When I said this to Mike, he was just like, you stupid or what? They want you to go to the store so that you pick up a lot of other rubbish things on the way lah, obviously So that is gonna help them, right? Which is true, because every time I go to Ikea, I'll just buy a lot of Ziloc bags and a lot of like batteries and stuff Anyway, I, I think it's good that there's more options for consumers now And you see Primark, for example, they're really really suffering now because they didn't have an online uh, option for people to shop which is a source of irritation for me because I don't stay in London I would like to buy things from Primark sometimes but they just never deliver online which is damn fucking annoying they had to like follow a lot of um, their like employees and stuff now because they have to be forced to shut down so I think it's a good thing that in future when businesses restart um, you know there will be more options for us to shop online because businesses will start thinking about using that as a safeguard in case another pandemic happens speaking of online you can buy your plastic cosmetics online too in fact that's the only way you can get it so very very safe please go and buy our lashes see very nice huh? see? after this pandemic I'm going to predict that the whole world will start practicing better hygiene standards this means that all of us will be sick a lot less from things like flu stop getting so much sore throats and whatever crap else and I think that a lot more people are going to start wearing masks on a more common basis which means that you know viruses just tend to thrive a little bit less and I think that that's a great thing to happen sort of link to this is another good thing that came out of coronavirus which is that now people are social distancing every time I'm at the fucking airport at the fucking immigration queue the person behind me loves to stand fucking close to me and I fucking hate it I don't know why they have to stand so fucking close to me that they are actually stepping on my shoes or like hitting my luggage I can actually feel them like 
breathing down my neck, okay? And it's just freaking fucking annoying. Like, give me my fucking space, dude. Why do you need to stand so fucking close to me? Hopefully, if we ever get to travel again, social distancing will be enforced and people will be forced to kind of stand a bit further away from you and not crowd around you. And now you have a legitimate reason to just go up to them and just be like, sorry, uh, social distancing. Uh. Thank you, coronavirus, for this one. So here is one last good thing that came out of coronavirus for me. I am hopeful that after this, people will stop eating bushmeat or at least wait less people will continue eating bush meat. We see places like China, they have already banned people from eating bush meat. Hopefully, more and more countries will ban this very very disgusting practice and why can't you just eat chicken? Chicken is so yummy and chicken is cheap. Like, <sighs> Okay, so we've come to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I know coronavirus is terrible. A lot of shit came out from it but there are some good stuff that came out from it as well and I'm choosing to focus on all of these now so that I don't go fucking bad shit crazy while I'm at home and not earning much money. Anyway, so if you guys have any more suggestions on what I should be doing for my next video, things that maybe I can film at home lah, huh? you can leave some suggestions in the comments down below and maybe I'll get to filming it. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you get notifications every time a new video comes out and stay safe, stay home and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!